hey guys welcome to this video guys so i've been playing warzone guys all day yesterday and i'm about to start playing again but in this video guys after me playing um one day already with the warzone now i do own the full game but i am gonna tell you guys that warzone is the game mode that made me play modern warfare again um i just don't like how it's so sweaty when you play the multiplayer um, so yeah, Warzone for me, it's probably all I'm playing. Uh, hopefully they bring new new skins to the shop. Um, I do like wearing female skins. Uh, so right now you guys see, uh, that's what I'm rocking right now. And why did she froze for a second? Don't know. Uh, so something I like about um, Warzone, uh, before I go into my Elite Controller settings, guys, is that you can actually rank up every weapon you pick up, like. Now you don't have to worry. Oh, you see all this? Uh, like I have new. Uh, edit. It's because you pick different weapons, you get kills, and you can actually upgrade their um their attachments. You know, unlock their attachments, and I like that a lot. Now we're here to talk about my elite controller, guys. Now my elite controller, um, it's the series two, guys. So if you guys have the elite controller series two, I recommend this. Um, settings right here guys so I recommend you guys use shift mode because on BRs there's a lot of buttons that do different stuff um, and what I'm gonna read to you guys hopefully I can read it um, fine so if you go to a article called use shift with your elite controller series 2 this is by the Xbox um, support it uh, page so it tells you the shift on controller works a lot like it does on a standard keyboard. When you press and hold the uh, the assigned shift button, the button you choose becomes an alternative input. So basically on your keyboard, if you play, press the shift button, right? And then you press, um, let's say you press seven on your keyboard, what it does, it does that end um sign right so that's basically how it works on the controller so if you guys can see this is my shift mode this arrow up is shift mode so let's say i press my paddle one without pressing the shift button it's gonna do y but if i press the shift button and i press paddle one it's gonna do x and also my paddle two if I don't press the shift the button, it's going to do B. But if I press it, it's going to do Y. Um, and also, other stuff I have here as a shift button is the RB. When I'm pressing shift button, it does D-pad up. And why this is very important? Because D-pad up is to mark stuff. And if you play Apex, guys, Apex Legends, right bumper is to mark stuff. And this allows me to actually use RB to mark stuff without taking my finger from my thumbsticks. Now, you know, on Modern Warfare, they have the ability where you could switch your gunfire from single to automatic, right? So I put that as my uh, shift. Uh, if I press shift and I press um, left bumper, it's going to do that. And LT is going to do uh, my inventory on Warzone. So... To see your inventory, you have to hold down um, the pad down. Um, so I'm going to show you a little bit of my settings in game right now. Uh, we're going to go into the proctor, practice mode. Um, and maybe we'll just, just to show you this, um, how to mark stuff. Uh, I think played or digital. Okay, so I think it's this one. Uh, you are forced to play this. So um, this training uh, the first time. But I'm going to show you guys how good is this so they're gonna um they're gonna tell you like just to do this so right here guys let's say i want to mark that um i'm moving my fingers i just look go that press rb and I, okay sorry i was in the wrong profile so uh you press shift button rb and i marked it with rb just like it's uh, like an epic legends guys so if you want to bring out your inventory, right? So let me let me pick uh, this up here. Uh, so if you bring out your inventory, you have to hold down D pad down, and if you let go, it goes away. Um, so yeah. 
Uh, so what I do, I press the shift button, I press LT, and now I can just move, uh, see what I want to drop, right? So let's say I want to drop, um, X is to drop everything, Y to drop, um, yes, one. So I'm going to press my D-pad, holding the, my shift button and my D-pad, uh, no, actually holding my shift button, LT, and then pressing Y on the paddle. Uh, while you're pressing shift button and that's just gonna drop one for someone something that i feel they they need to fix here uh because i have not found if you're able to do that but is there a way to drop a gun because yesterday so i paid for my opponent to get revived right and he he had to get a pistol and i wanted to drop one of my ars and i couldn't like I don't know if you are able to do that. They should add it here. They should add both of your weapons, uh, either to the left or, or I think it's better to have them to the left, but they need to add them here or below this or below. And to, so we can drop them because I feel like sometimes I wanted to drop a AR for my um, you know, teammate that I, that I brought back by paying the, the money they need to pay for. So they need to add that, but going to the controller settings, guys, this is why I think this is are the best. So, um, this, like I said, guys, shift button, this is the shift button. So like the, like the Xbox website says, it's like a, it does, you press shift button, it's going to do a different input. So let me go over them. So on my paddle one, I have Y to, when I press that paddle, it's going to do Y. Um, so if I'm not pressing the shift button, it's going to do Y. When I'm pressing the shift button, it's going to do X. So that allows me to search chess fast um, or crates, uh, whatever you want to call them. Um, and then this paddle, paddle, um, paddle two, I have it to do B. That's for melee, but also I have it to do Y. Why do I have B, um, this paddle to also do Y when I already have a Y? Because... Let's go back. When you go into um, pressing the shift button and pressing LT to bring out your inventory, um, and like this, you can move, right? You can move. Um, if you want to drop something, you want to just keep moving but still drop something for your your teammate, you could do that. Um, why do I have Y on a, Y two times on two different paddles? Because when I'm pressing shift mode and I bring out the inventory, I could just press the other paddle to drop, um, you know, to drop a plate or whatever you want to drop. Uh, that's why I have um, Y on this paddle, uh, paddle two as the shift button. Because um, if you don't, if you don't press the shift button and you press LT, you're gonna zoom in instead of um, bringing out the uh, the inventory, guys. So. So A, I just have a A. Um, I've been thinking of putting the kill streaks there, which I think is D pad right, because like I said, guys, I already have. Um, you guys can see here, I already have L T. Uh, when I'm pressing the shift button, L T is gonna do D pad down. L B is gonna do D pad uh, D pad left, and R B is gonna do D pad um, up. What D pad up does is, like I said, mark stuff for your teammates. Um, you know, if you see an opponent, you could double tap it and mark it. Although sometimes I double tap it for some reason, it thinks I am holding down the button, and it bring, uh, brings the emo. Um, we all, uh, that's a problem. Um, now the um this one right here, like I said, guys, uh, the shift pressing L B that's gonna do the gunfire, um, switch, but, and I'm gonna show you how. So oh, we're gonna reload. So let's say there's someone far, far away. If you auto shoot, the gun is just gonna go crazy all over the place. You're probably just gonna take a shot. But if you need to go single mode, I press shift mode, I press LB. Look at that, I could be moving, look. Moving and without taking my finger uh, out of my thumbsticks, uh, he, he keeps switching the single to single fire and auto. So, Single fire, there it is, to be to shoot someone that's far away. Um, it works, it works. Um, now, 
that's uh, LB, guys. Like I said, I'm liking this first because this is also new to me. Having using shift mode, I I don't even use it a lot. So, uh, I'm starting using it on Modern Warfare, and this is very important. Now, I think for kill streaks, you have to hide if you're gonna use a kill streak most of the time. So I don't see a problem of having it on the D-pad, but I might think of changing it to um when i press shift mode to be my paddle four because just remember this guys your shift mode can be any button but it's highly recommended to be a paddle so i choose paddle three because that one is on the left side of your controller it's the top paddle so you it's like for me i felt it's more comfortable using it there uh like i said guys but there's there's a lot of things that you guys could probably change on your Elite controller to see how you guys want it. Like for me, this is the best I could go for. Um, I don't have to take my fingers for my sticks. It allows me to do this. So right here, I can mark this by pressing shift mode and RB. And look at this, I'm marking them. Um, and I don't even have to take my my fingers from the, from the stick, right? So I could be moving, looking around um, and stuff like that. Right, you can also do emotes by pressing R uh, R B and holding it. Look at that. So I think for me, I think these are the best settings you guys could use for the Elite controller, guys. So um, Series Two, this only works on the Series Two, guys. The uh, the first Elite controller does not have shift mode. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I would recommend now the reason I didn't put a shift button on the RT you probably will say you could probably put this on your kill streaks on RT when you hold in shift mode the reason I don't because maybe what about if someone's coming right and you're able to cancel your kill streak you want to shoot right away even if you're pressing shift mode and that that's gonna allow you to do it so that's why I don't want to put it on RT so my next option could be I could make um, the kill streaks a uh, like a like a a stick, like pressing down on the stick. Um, so that could be an option. Um, but I, right now I, I haven't got like kill streaks that really bother me pressing the D-pad. But I think this is enough buttons that I need to learn first. Like uh, paddle two is why when I'm pressing shift mode. Like I said, so let me go over all my shift modes. So first the one is RB. So what RB does when I'm pressing the shift paddle, it does the pad up. What does that do? That brings up your um, marking. So to mark stuff on on the on the Warzone game. Um, so that's that. And the other one I chose is LB, which is the pad left, and that allows you to switch your weapon from single fire to automatic without taking your fingers from your sticks. I think the primary thing here, guys, is to always have your your uh, your finger on your sticks. I think that's very important. Now LT, what this does is D pad down. D pad down. You have to hold D pad down to bring your inventory guys where your bullets sharing your bullets and plates you know to with your where your teammates so you have to hold it down so that's why i press shift when i press shift button i hold lt and then with your left stick you actually choose uh what you want to uh what you want to drop and then it tells you press x to drop everything y to drop uh yes one or a half right so this Y, I have X on, um, on Y while you're pressing shift. And also I have um, B, uh, I have a, a shift on B and Y. So that's why you guys could see when I'm holding shift mode, I have to press either the paddle uh, P1 or paddle, uh, paddle 2, I meant to say, to drop. It's a little bit confusing, guys, but I hope you guys understand. We're going to go into a real game just for a little bit. Um, I'm going to go in solo because I don't want to ruin my my teammates, right? So I don't want to ruin their game. It's just going to be like a, like a test, right? We're just going to do it. So we're going to do don't, don't feel, no feel. Okay, guys, so before we go into a game, just to show you guys, 
I would recommend to change this um, thing here. Let me look for it. Here on use to reload. Um, I used to have a tab to re uh, to reload, hold to use. Um, I would recommend contextual tab. I think it works great to pick up everything super fast, just like if you were on PC. So we're gonna go to a game right here. Um, I'm 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 gonna play this, and I'm just gonna show you how fast is using that. Um, and we're gonna be using one of my favorite skins. I have the one with her helmet, but I don't like that one a lot. So oh, this is one of my favorite skins to wear on Call of Duty. Uh, pretty good. Hopefully they release new ones, so we're gonna wait here. Uh, hopefully it's not long. Uh, I'm gonna pause it right now, and we'll just um, I don't want to make the video that long, so we could just wait for it, the lobby to fill. Okay, guys. So it looks we are in a game, or we're gonna be on the lobby. But I'm 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 gonna show you guys how how this works. I'm gonna tell you what I'm holding and everything when we drop in. Um, this is just we're gonna be on the on the lobby, I guess. Anyone for it to load? Have you guys killed anyone going through the through the lobby, right? Like flying down and like maybe hitting someone. I don't think you could kill them right now. There's sometimes you can shoot their armor. I don't know. This time it looks like you can't. So here we go. We're gonna go in the first game. I'm gonna show you with the elite controller. I do stuff, so I should be a solo. Yeah, there we go. Where we go, we're gonna drop right away, guys. I don't, I don't know. It, lo the, it looks funny, the animation or running, or like when she walks to the edge. Um, I don't like going. We're gonna land in outside the so have you guys ever tried to do this if you hit someone i have hit a, po a couple people um i don't know if people drop here my my guess is that they haven't uh okay so Right here it says hold to reload close just tap. Right, so we just tap. For some reason tell me hold did I change my okay so right here guys open I press shift button and press X. Of course this, I'm gonna do this faster, but look how easy it is to pick up stuff with contextual um stuff. It's just fast. We get a gun here. Something I would recommend is using, like same here. Sometimes it's so fast because contentional means it's tapping. Sometimes I like just keep tapping it. Um, so right now pressing shift mode, we get to scars. We're gonna change that. I'm more of a scar guy. Um, and then right here, guys, press shift more, shift mode, guys. I meant to say, and then press LB, it switches weapons mode. Um, back and forth, pressing LB. Uh, like I said, guys, now if I want to go into my inventory, right? I press shift mode LT and then I choose what I want to drop with the left stick. But you have to be keep holding LT shift mode. And then that's why you need a, a different paddle for X and, and Y guys. Uh, because you while you're on shift mode, you need to have uh, able to press Y to drop a stack or X to drop all so I'm gonna drop a stack of uh of plates here so I press Y and it drops one I press X it drops all of them and all these buttons are set to um paddle so I'm doing everything this uh using paddles guys so that contential um texture I think is the best because this one allows you just to tap something to pick up stuff so yes shift mode X I pick that up real fast um, there's a chest over here, I think. No, oh, another weapon. I want a, another AR. Um, shift mode X, tap it, picked up. Uh, most, like the, the most of the ammo, uh, the money you picked up by by automatically just walk over them. 
but I think these are the best uh, at least said things I could think using chef mode guys uh, for me just they look so good um, I have never went uh, seen that storm actually uh, so here the thing is you can pick up a claymore uh, just hold shift mode and press your paddle the is X you're gonna pick it pick it up real fast uh, now let's say there's someone far far you could probably see them but die truck if you choose automatically you probably are just gonna hit one bullet but if you sh if you press shift mode and you press LB you're gonna switch to single mode now you could like, probably do this right and follow him kick out um, and probably shoot a couple bullets on him. So let's switch back to automatically and there it is um, I think this RG is a very good settings guys um, To play on uh, in my opinion Because everything you're doing I'm doing is I'm doing the using the pedals I'm not using the buttons on the controller except for the uh, sticks and the uh, triggers and bumpers guys now um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video guys. Somebody might have been here. We don't know. We picked up a play. There's a uh, um, thing there. There was nothing. So I'm going to go on this one here. Okay, so we have a crate. So I'm going to try to to actually loot that chest um, like I would normally. Uh, okay, so I don't see nothing I like. I just walk. Maybe I want to get the shotgun shift mode. X it up real fast so yeah guys um we're gonna back out out of this game uh but yeah guys these are my custom elite controller settings um one of the things that i forgot to mention guys is that i do use a left stick um curve sensitivity from the elite controller which is aggressive to kind of try and move faster that what it helps for moving uh, like faster right um so so it's more responsive to kind of move move your character right away and instant is to reduce the aim acceleration controllers have on every game uh so i just put i use instant and curve adjust the adjustment all the way down uh the triggers i have it on 0 0.1 because i want them to shoot as soon as i press them um so there's no delay uh basically it's like using your uh your um, bumpers uh, as the as the shooting buttons and the vibration all the way down. I don't I don't like brightness of the controller. I don't like that. So all the way down. Um, but like I said, guys, the most important thing is the shift button. And then the little button you guys see on the bottom of the big button that that the little one is the shift mode. So like I said, guys, when I'm holding shift mode, uh, this paddle does X, this paddle does Y. And you meant, like I said, why do I have uh, two Y's uh, mapped to different paddles? It's because when I use the shift, but, uh, the shift button to go into my inventory, you need to have Y and X available on shift mode to drop a stack or to drop everything you have of that material that you want to drop or um, bullets, right? And then RB up to mark stuff fast for my teammates. Um, LB to switch the uh, the fire uh, mode from single to auto, uh, and then the LT is to bring out my inventory while I'm holding shift mode. This doesn't mean that you still you still could use your your D pads to do that, guys. Um, but if you have an elite controller, I think these are the best settings. Um, they work great for me, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.